what's going on YouTube? It's Donnie Pure Day. Gonna make some people mad and break some freaking hearts. Cause that's what we do. Actually, that's not what we do, but this is what we're gonna do. So this video is about knife styles that I will not design or do my own redesign of pretty much, right? And uh, I have to do this because I get emails all the time saying, hey, you know, can you help me with this design? I say, yep, I do that. And then I'll get people saying, hey, when are you gonna design one of these? And if it's in one of these knife designs, my simple answer is never. Some some knife designs I will just never touch because I don't like them. A knife for me, and remember this entire thing is just how I feel. This is an opinionated, opinionated um, uh, uh, conversation here. And uh, I'm going to show you all these different knife styles and ones that I just... I just won't touch. Now there's two that I would have added but can't add or won't add and things like and there there's and then there's a bunch more that <laughs> deserve to be there. Some of you will probably agree. And then there's probably one in there that somebody designed that makes me want to punch him in the face. Um but now disclaimer. Uh I'm going to list a bunch of these styles and there's going to be a lot of you that have a knife in this style and you're going to be like, oh, but this, you don't understand. This, I've had this knife for 14 years and I've taken everything this knife works great and I can do this and this. I get it. I get it. There's knives on this list that I would never design because I hate the design so much. There's one of them, as a matter of fact, I use almost every single day of my life. I use them almost every single day. I used one today. As a matter of fact, I used one yesterday. Um, so I'm not saying what I'm not I'm not saying here is that these are knife designs that are terrible. I'm not saying these are knife designs that don't work. I'm not saying that these are knife designs that don't have a purpose. No, no, I'm just saying personal preference. Why I won't design these is because I just simply don't like their shapes or styles, right? So we're gonna get into that. I'm gonna flip you around and we're gonna show you what's going on. Hold on. All right, so I'm gonna start with two knife styles. Um, that I would put but can't put. And one is the harpoon tip. And the reason I would put it is because I'm not a fan of the harpoon tip. The reason I have to leave it though, leave it out of this video as far as ones that I would never do is because there's some harpoon tips that I just really freaking like. There are, there's just some out there like this one is made by Tops. It's a really good looking knife. There's not too much I can complain about this. Um, I think it all depends on where the harpoon starts, uh, the direction of the spine, the curvature from the spine to the grip. It, it has to do a lot with it, but some harpoon tips don't look good on some overall knife designs. This one happens to look pretty darn good. The other one is the sax. And a lot of people would be brokenhearted over that. Oh, the sax, you kidding me, Vikings, blah, blah, blah. Remember, this isn't a battle of these knives don't work. This is just me saying designs that I don't care for. The reason I'm not a big sax fan is because they're completely linear. If you take a piece of steel and make three very, very straight cuts in it, you did not design anything. You just cut something that was very simple that you could use right away to kill somebody with. And that's exactly what the Vikings did. Nobody designed this. The Vikings took a very, very simplistic thing because they needed it to work. They didn't need it to look good. So when I see knives that are just complete straight angles, it makes me want to blah. I just don't like it. So I've been working on, for just about three years, I've been working on a sax design because I would really like to do a sax. The problem is every time I design it, it pisses me off because it still looks too linear to me. I have to figure out a way where I can do it and not make it just a bunch of straight lines. It has to have actual shape. It has to have design in the design. I can throw on a really fancy handle, but if the blade is still just three straight cuts it's three straight cuts with you know a fancy handle so while those two designs 
I, I, I don't want to say I was on the fence about because I'm not on the fence. I, I'm I'm pro, more pro those designs than anti those designs um, because I I would absolutely design both. I pretty much have. I already have some designs put down where I'm just tinkering with. But then now let's get into some designs I will not do. This, my friends, is an Ulu. An Ulu is a great like uh, meat cutting knife, right? It's great. A lot of times you won't see it with this single handle. A lot of times you will see this come all the way across the handle and then there'll be two little pegs holding on this blade. I have no desire or yearning to design any kind of Ulu. And uh, this is the exact um, knife design that sparked this video is because somebody said, hey, are you gonna design an Ulu? Uh, here's my quick answer, no. I have um, literally no desire to do an Ulu. Moving on, there's this thing. Um, so K-Bar did this. I, I know people, you know, can, say, oh, no, it's really good. You put it in your hand and so you can punch with it and blah, blah, blah. I cannot stand anything that's L-shaped in a knife. If it's an L shape, it's it's just not a knife. Now, this isn't like kukri shape where it's really beautiful and has these great lines. This just goes up and then over. It's freaking awful to me. Does that mean it doesn't work? Of course not. Um, it probably has a couple of good uses. Um, I, I mean, first of all, with like most pistol grip knives, I am not a pistol grip knife fan. I'm a pistol grip fan on pistols because that's what it's made for. On a knife, uh, leave the pistol grip at home. So this thing I added, um, but it, I don't know if it has an actual like name. I don't know if there's something you can call it. It says blade style, the way they have it listed, blade style, other. Uh, this is something I came across and I've seen a few of these. It's kind of like this weird elephant trunk looking knife. Um, uh, no. But now here's something here's something that we hope you'll really like. Um, so this is a fillet knife, right? Just your basic fillet knife, fishing knife. I have one of these in my kitchen drawer right now that I use literally almost every single day. I use my fillet knife constantly. I use it for uh, like I was just cutting up ham with it. I use it for cheese, for longer blocks of cheese. I use this knife all the freaking time. Will I ever design a fillet knife? And it's not this one. Um, will I ever design a uh, fillet knife? No. I do not like these long, skinny blades. I am not a fan of really thin, narrow blades. When you guys see me do something, they're generally fat blades. Here's another one of those weird blade styles that is just a no for me. Um, this is another knife thing that somebody throws the word tactical on and it's supposed to mean something like, oh, that's a tech. Let me tell you something. This is not a very useful knife for someone like me. I would be able to do nothing with it. Now, that's a broad statement. Can I do nothing? No. Can I feather stick with it? Sure. Can I throw it? Absolutely. Would it be more of a, a toy? Sure. But would this knife style ever do anything to me to where I would look at it and go, now that's a knife I need to make? Absolutely not. I just think those are horrible. Speaking of horrible yet popular, the mini cleavers. What is the purpose of these? Now, the only reason I would ever need a knife like this if is if I had a two by two block of very sharp cheddar cheese sitting right in front of me and a bunch of crackers. I cannot think of a single time that I would need a knife like this, especially when I can already be carrying something like, you know, a, a knife that can do multiple things. The, these knives just, for me, aren't as multi-purposeful as I'd like them to be, and it's nothing, I cannot, cannot at all get into this style of knife. And speaking of, here we go with a scalpel knife. Now. I, I mentioned one in a video before how I think it would be really useful when like you're out camping and maybe you're in certain straight up survival mode and you're talking small game. Like if you have to skin an actual mouse or something of that size and these things could come in handy. Um, it would sure you could rip open a cardboard box with it. No problem. 
But for me, when you have a really long blade, uh, long handle or a nice hand size handle, to take a blade that's half the length of the handle, I don't know, man. I and again, it, it this thing probably has a million uses, but it's just a style that does absolutely nothing for me. Can't do the scalpel. So here we have like a classic boning knife style. And, and, and what this comes down to, it's not so much the kitchen knife style. You have it in like buoy knife sizes and all kinds of different things. But any knife that sweeps in this direction that's not a Japanese Tonto, I think is a fail to me. If Especially if in this area right here, this might be a bad example, but I couldn't find what I wanted to. If the blade is thick is wide all the way it doesn't taper as much and just goes and then tapers kind of at the end i don't know and you'll see some that where it drops down the spinal the the spine of the actual blade will be below the level of the handle and i think that's where i'm getting more of what i'm trying to get out but downward sweeping knives um i'm just really not a fan of just i i just don't like where the entire knife is downward sweeping. Like I said, the only way it works is in a Tonto. Anything like Japanese style, for some reason, they can make that shape look amazing where almost, and this is just me, to me, no one else can. This is one that always breaks hearts when I talk about it. This Your standard tracker. I look at this thing and it, I honestly see one of the ugliest designs ever made. Um, I, I can't look at this knife and pick one particular area that, especially in the blade, in the blade, let me say, that has any kind of attractive features to me. It's just an awful looking knife. I can't stand them. Um, I tried doing a, like a, a full out tracker design. Uh, people have been asking and I'm having such a hard time doing one because I think they're ugly. I did a semi tracker style in a kukri, but it's because I was able to hold beautiful lines without turning it into that. And I'll tell you, this is of all knife styles, one of my absolute least favorite. All right, all you hunters, you're not going to like this one. The um, gut hook. The gut hook. If somebody sends me a gut hook knife, I'm telling you right now, I'm bringing it down to the grinder and taking that thing off. Yes, they are great for ripping open bellies uh, or, or ripping open um, hide. They are great for that. They're great for cutting uh, fishing line. I get it. I 100% get it. I percent get it. I know. I know you guys love, some of you guys love gut hook knives. Um, the gut hook to me is basically, and it's it's this variation where you can see there's a short piece here before the little hook. That's where those harpoon tips get me, is when it's just at the tip especially. I, that's where I think that they really ruin a knife when you just do that at the, I don't, I don't get it, man. There's just, I, well, I get it. I get why, not on the harpoon so much, but on this, I get why they do it. I know why they do it. This is, I really do not like gut hook knives. So this one is like a semi-bird trout type knife mixed in with a, another knife, and I'll show you both of those. For some reason, they, they kind of almost did a mix. It's, it's almost even like a, a three-blade combo, like... A, a mix between a Nesmith, uh, a Nesmith, and uh, 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 did I just totally screw that up? Um, and the Burden Trout, and uh, when you see it bend backwards, like like they were hammering on the spine, and this point and this point were on something hard, and it made the knife bend that way. Oh my gosh, I do not like that look. Um, and again. Another great knife, a great camp knife. It'll do everything you want it to do. The only thing it doesn't do for me is have the ability to sit there and let me look at it. Ugh. So this Skinner here is one of the knives that I said it, it kind of resembles. It's like they took parts of this knife and the Burden Trout knife. Um, this, to me, is literally 
probably, and some of them are even, they have not like a bulbous end right here. And there's just, this to me is literally the one knife that I wouldn't even want to test for free. Um, I absolutely, I mean, you, you think I don't like the look of a tracker? This thing right here, hold it. Now I know these are, the way it sweeps back, it's really good for skinning because you can use sweeping motions and blah, 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 blah. Believe me guys, I get it. If you own one of these and you love it, I get it. I absolutely get it. What I do not get is how you can look at it. <laughs> I mean, it is just an awful thing to see in my eyes. It's one of those things that burns a hole in my retinas. And keeping in par with that, there's this. Now you'll see the Canadian belt knife by um, Cold Steel. It's the same thing. It's it's a trout and bird type knife. I just think they're ugly, man. I, I hate a knife that bends backwards. I hate a knife that bends backwards. Um, I, <laughs> man, I'll tell you what, <laughs> gross. Speaking of gross, this is where we get into blunt tip knives. Um, either make it have a point or give it a tanto something i don't know but a blunt tip knife sure they have a need i guess but this is just one example of the many squared off tips that i absolutely will never ever um design so if you have one of these and if you're a knife reviewer and you review a knife and I don't like the shape of it. It's nothing personal. I just don't like the shape. I'm putting it right out there. Um, does that mean the knife's no good? No, look at Scab. Holy crap. Scab will bring out a knife made by like Work Tough Gear that I might not like the shape of. And then he'll beat it into oblivion and the thing will just keep on going. It'll just keep on freaking going. No matter what, I could say anything I want about the overall design or the shape or blah, blah, blah. But holy crap, he puts out some freaking workhorse uh knife videos uh from like uh some blades that i i like fantasy knives he's got a fantasy knife out there i think he just recently did a video on does it have any intended purposes in real life real use blah 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 absolutely not but holy crap scab could chop a truck in half of the damn thing so i mean as much as i hate some things someone sometimes you just got to respect the way they work all right, so this is one of those knives that might just anger people. I do not like the Karambit. Now, I have some Karambits. The Shasta McNasty is one of the Shasta McNastiest Karambits out there. The thing is just insane. You want to know if these things work? Ask Doug Micarta. Um, I called him Micarta. It's a scale. <laughs> Sorry, Doug. Um, but the this shape of Karambit, this style... There, there are some karambits out there that I look at and I go, okay, so that's a nice one. And it's not even just about hawkbills because I like hawkbills. I do like a good hawkbill knife. But for some reason, this style of karambit right here, I absolutely hate looking at it. It's just, and that's all it comes down to is the look. Because when I put one in my hand, it works just fine. I just don't want to have to look at it. All right, speaking of hawking bills, instead of a hawkbill, which is actually a good um, shape. This is called a, um, a bill hook. Uh, and this thing, you, I'll tell you what, man, I'd rather sell my mama than come out with one of these on my own. This thing, I'm not going to spend too much. I mean, well, look at it for your damn selves. Ugh. All right. So this is the last one I'm going to, um, go over. Um, one of these, uh, it, it's supposed to be like an axe slash knife. Listen, either carry an axe or carry a knife. To try and make a knife that's both, and again, you have this really nice handle, appropriately sized, and then you have this blade that's shorter than the handle. The only time a blade should be shorter than the handle is when you're talking about a folding knife because it has to fit into it. That's the only time. And... And just because it's tops, there's a few tops knives that I've picked on here today because they suck. Well, not they suck, I'm not saying that, but those designs to me are just awful. But then in my pocket, the only thing I asked for Christmas was this tops knife. So don't think it's a knock on tops because I love me some damn tops. Um, but there's, and this one's even better than a lot of the ones I've seen. These, these, it's like a hatchet slash knife. I will not 
design a hatchet slash knife. I will design you a knife. I will even design you a hatchet, but I will not combine the two. No, no freaking way. All right, so I hope that answered some of the questions. There's just reasons why I don't do certain knives. And it's just because the look, you know, if they were all as pretty as that, you know, <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be doing them all. If they were all as pretty as that, should I be doing them all? But there's just, I don't know, there, there's just some things, man. Linear things, things that bend backwards, things that have an even swoop. Just no, 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 no. Oh, no, wait. I forgot. I almost forgot. We almost ended this video without the um, my winner. The winner. The winner of all kick in the teeth knives. I almost forgot about this thing. So here's how we're going to close this uh, this video. Guys, I need you to write your congressman and ask them permission uh, for permission to go to this guy's house and crap in his yard. Because anyone who designs this has got some bad things coming. All right, so <laughs> that one <laughs> is by far the worst piece of crap out there. All right, so it, it, it might work, and it's made by Kaiser, and I love Kaiser, but holy mackerel, why? I mean, come on, Kaiser, just why? That's it for this one. I am Donnie B. All Day. Till next video.